My name is Darren McCann. I'm the chair of the MA in Creative Writing here at DCU, a program which is now in its fifth year. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be able to speak to you. Uh, and I want to thank you for your interest in the MA in Creative Writing. Uh, we're in our fifth year now, and it's a program which has really found its feet. We have a burgeoning cohort of alumni who are going on to do lots of interesting things. Um, we're starting to see alumni from our program making their way in the world as writers uh, and in, in many other many other fields as well. So once again, thank you for your interest in the program. The program spaces in the program are competitive. We uh, set the bar pretty highly. So those who are accepted onto the program are students of a very, very high quality. And you will be in the class with a cohort of people who are um, colleagues that you will learn a great deal from, as well as learning a great deal from the staff. Uh, so I'll just talk a little bit about the program, what it involves, and what, uh, why it could be a very interesting and worthwhile endeavor for you. We've designed the course to encourage you to write prodigiously and to read voraciously. So there will be a substantial amount of reading involved in the program, in the program mostly shorter pieces which, uh, which have a direct application to your own work. But the focus is on your writing, the writing that you produce, which we will then respond to and you will then work through multiple versions of, uh, all of which is uh, essential practice the practice of being a writer is something that we seek to, to really inculcate in our students because this is what writers do. Writers read, writers write, writers rewrite, writers respond to their own writing and to the writings of others. So that's what you will be doing during your year or two years on the MA in Creative Writing at DCU. During the MA, you would be expected to take modules in all the main forms of contemporary writing. Uh, or you will have the opportunity to take modules in all the major forms of contemporary writing, those being poetry, prose, drama, and screenwriting. We encourage students to take a range of different options. So even if you believe yourself to be a poet, uh, there will still be great value for you in taking a module in prose, for example, or in drama or whatever it might be, very valuable cross-fertilization takes place between the disciplines and you will be challenged to try all of them. We'll also give you a broad understanding of the literary and theatrical marketplace and commercial aspects of literary production. You'll be working with the staff who are all, uh, all of us established practitioners in each of our fields. The staff include, well, there's, there's myself, I'm a, a novelist, a short story writer. We have Marina Carr, one of the great playwrights of, of, our, of, our, of our time. We have the uh, highly um, award-winning poet Kit Fryatt. We have the experienced screenwriter and novelist Ferdian McCanna. We're also joined this year by the by DCU's writer in residence, Sophie White, who has been doing some really interesting work with our MA with our current MA cohort. Sophie will still be with us until the end of 2023. So in your first potential first semester as an MA student, you'll get an opportunity to do some work with Sophie. We'll then also have a new writer in residence in 2024 who will be uh, who will be here for the, the second half of, of your first year or your year as a master's student. So um, yeah, all the staff you'd be working with are experienced and established practitioners as well as teachers of creative writing. Um, you'll also meet lots of other really talented people in your classmates. As mentioned before, we set the bar very high on who we accept into the course. So uh, being accepted into the course is an achievement in itself. And it also means that the caliber of people alongside you is very high. And that's one of the great values of, uh, of, of our MA program. You'll also just have the, the pleasure of spending time here 
on these very uh, in, in these very evocative surroundings of the All Hallows and St. Patrick's campuses at DCU. These very beautiful and very old and very um, inspiring settings. You do get a sense of the ghosts of the past, of the scholars and the intellectuals and the philosophers and the missionaries and theologians who have walked these halls over the centuries. And now today, it is the poets and the novelists and the dramatists of tomorrow who are following in the footsteps, who are uh, following in the footsteps of those who have gone before us. So the work that you do here will resonate far beyond these walls. The progress that you yourself uh, will continue to have long, that will continue long after you leave here and will find expression in countless ways that we can't predict now. Uh, as mentioned before, the program is currently in its fifth year. So if you were to register in September, you would be entering a, a, at the beginning of our sixth year of this program. So it's still a relatively new program, but we are really finding its feet. Uh, we are really finding our feet. The program uh, has a growing list of alumni uh, in whose footsteps you will be following. Continuing on uh, your, your journey as a writer, uh, your journey as a as a reader and as a thinker into whatever uh, whatever fields of endeavour you you may pursue. Um, in the program itself, you will have four workshop modules, of which you will take three. Those being in poetry, prose, drama, and screenwriting. There is also the large uh, year long double module called Reading Like a Writer, in which you are given set texts set texts to read in which you will then kind of dissect with staff and with your colleagues um, and take out the, the very useful craft and technique uh, employed by masters in these master texts um, and then apply those to your own work. You will be reading and reading in depth but reading like a writer in that way that writers do like magpies, taking the ideas and the techniques uh, the things that you can use in your own work. So that's reading like a writer and that runs throughout the year. Those are the taught components of the module, uh, of the program, the four workshop modules and the reading like a writer double module. And having completed the taught components, you would then move on in the summer to your uh, dissertation stroke writing project, which is where you will be assigned uh, one of the members of staff will be assigned as your supervisor and then you would work on a major piece of work which would be up to 20,000 words. Um, a major piece, the longest piece that you would do during your time, which would be your effectively your master's dissertation, but it would also have the potential to be a calling card for you as a writer, as you embark on your writing career, as you go on to look to approach literary agents or publishers or producers as you enter into the, the literary marketplace, uh, the writing project is an opportunity for you to, to develop a substantial piece of work which will give you that kind of momentum as you, as, as you enter the literary marketplace. So, okay, that's, um, that's pretty much what I would have said if not for our technical difficulties this morning. So thank you again for your interest in the program. I hope that was useful to you. Uh, you will find my details on, uh, on the DCU website. So if you have any questions that you want to follow up on, please do not hesitate to drop me an email. and I will uh, try to be as um, helpful as I can be. Uh, oh, sorry, maybe just one more thing to add, and that's in relation to the difference between full-time and part-time programs. Full-time and part-time students uh, are in the same classes, you will still be sitting in the same rooms as if you're a part-time student uh, or if you're a full-time student. The difference is that the part-time students do the same taught components but uh, with half the frequency over twice as long. So you would complete all the same modules, you would just do it over two years rather than one. But the two programs do not run separately, they run concurrently uh, and so you're, you will all be in together. We do try to timetable all of our classes in the evenings. So this year, for example, all of our classes take place 
after 4 p.m., but most of them actually after 6 p.m., uh, but always after 4 p.m. on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. So that's the timetable this year. Obviously, next year's timetable will have some differences from this year's timetable, but I don't expect it to be very different, and there will still be a strong emphasis. We will still be making every effort to timetable our classes in the evenings because we understand that people have responsibilities, people have jobs, people have lives, people have family responsibilities, community responsibilities, whatever it might be. We're aware of that and we timetable accordingly. Uh, so yeah, sorry, just once again, if you have any questions, please do drop me an email. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your interest in the program and the very best of luck to you.